Properly coiling cable is one of the most important yet overlooked steps in striking a production. A poorly coiled cable can short out, as well as cause kinks that crew members might trip over. In this episode, Teal is going to demonstrate how to correctly coil various types of cable. Hi, I'm Teal, and today we're going to go over how to properly coil cable. Um, here I have a BNC uh, cable, but this technique that I'm going to show you is good for just about any cable that you're going to need to coil, including XLR cable, um, extension cords, lavaliers, anything. So the first thing you want to do when you're coiling cable is to just lay it out flat. Um, try to get a good amount of floor available because you don't want to start coiling cable that has kinks in it like that. Take one end, in either hand, it doesn't matter, and this is called the over-under technique. Okay, So what you're going to do is you're going to coil it first in an over direction, which is easy enough. And the next thing that you're going to do is instead of going over again, you're going to take it in your hand and flip it under forming the same size loop. And the next time you go over, and again with this hand you're going to come under so that your thumb faces towards you. And over, thumb inside, and under, thumb outside. Then you take the last bit, and you find the cable wrap and wrap it around until the Velcro holds. And there you have a perfectly coiled BNC cable. You would use the same method as pretty much any other cable, the over-under method. Uh, and here we have an example of an improperly coiled cable because it's very tight and when I unravel it, you can see that it comes out in this spiral design that is going to get kinked up on the floor and probably trip somebody. To grab it by the microphone end, because you don't want the microphone, the delicate microphone, to be dragging al along the floor, grab it with one hand, and again you're going to be using the over-under method. So form a loop going over, and then with the next loop, you're going to be coming under with a thumb out. And the next loop will be over with your thumb inwards. And you just continue doing that over, under, over, under until you've coiled the entire cable. This is the only kind of cable that you don't use the over-under method, but you're going to be using a figure-eight method. So the first thing you'll need is a nice, good, sturdy pair of gloves, because the uh, camera cable has been on the floor and is probably very dirty. Second thing you need is a buddy to bring in the camera while you're coiling the cable. As you bring it in, you form a nice figure eight design with the camera cable. Perfect. So I just want to highlight um, some incorrect ways of coiling a cable that I see people doing. Uh, the first way is around the elbow, which is just a horrible thing to do to a cable. Uh, if you were a cable, would you want someone to do this to you? No, because it stresses out the cable and it twists the little wires that are inside and eventually they'll break and your cable will no longer work. Uh, the other way I see pe people doing it is by simply coiling it in one direction, going over, over, over the entire time, which may seem like an okay thing to do, But the problem is, when you coil in one direction, when you go to uncoil it, you get this horrible knotted mess 
and that again will stress out the cables and cause the spiraling uh, fiasco, which then takes a really long time to uncoil. If you coil with the over-under technique, which I'll do very quickly just now, over, under, over, under, then when you go to uncoil it, it comes out in a nice long line, which you can then lay on the floor, and no one's going to trip over it, and you have all the length to work. Thank you.